When I got the diagnosis, I had the oddest and really very valuable kind of sensation of thinking, I've had a wonderful life. It wasn't resignation. It was a very valuable moment. Ten years before she died, she was, I believe, first diagnosed with cancer, and she was getting radiation treatments and running off to give speeches. I don't believe she missed a beat. She told no one. I knew, the kids knew. She would drive the two of us to chemo and then we'd go shopping at the supermarket or she'd go and get her bag and fly off to give a presentation somewhere. Virginia was very positive as a person, even when she was ill. I was diagnosed in my late 30s. I had no expectation of surviving and fell into quite a funk. But I thought, what should I do with my final two years? I always wanted to be a writer since the age of eight. So I chose to do the thing I've been wanting since eight. Virginia wrote her last book while she was ill. For me, it seemed to pull together a lot of threads that had been woven throughout her work. My mother never felt safe from cancer. She always said cancer cells are immortal. When she passed away, it was as if the sun was not going to rise again. I mean, that's how strong she was. 